yes guys let us start today's session today i'm going to discuss about conditional operator in the last session we have learned about special operator uh, under that special operator we learned about size of operator the only one compile time operator till now under the category of size uh, under the category of special operator we completed comma operator and size of operator today i am going to explore conditional operator i am going to explore conditional operator now how the conditional operator looks like it looks like this asking sign followed by colon asking sign followed by colon this is how conditional operator looks like now what is the working principle or what is the general syntax general syntax of conditional operator it is something like expression 1 asking sign expression 2 colon expression 3 this is the this is how the conditional operator general syntax is now what is expression expression means expression means it is having operands and operators associated with it it is having operands and operators associated with it now what is the you know what is the working principle the working principle is if the expression 1 is true value if the expression 1 gives us the true value then expression 2 is the final result if expression 1 gives us the false value then expression 3 is the final result the working principle is if expression 1 gives us true value then expression 2 is the final result otherwise otherwise expression 3 otherwise expression 3 is the final result is the final result this is the working principle of conditional operator and another very important feature of the conditional operator is the associativity of conditional operator is right to left the associativity the associativity of conditional operator is associativity of conditional operator is right to left what it means by this word associativity is in the absence of bracket in the absence of bracket how the expression will be bracketized that is denoted by the word associativity in the absence of the brackets how the expression will be bracketized that is denoted by the word associativity now the associativity of the conditional operator is right to left there are only few operators are there who are having the associativity right to left among them among them conditional operator is one of the operator who, is, who are having the associativity right to left other than other than conditional operator assignment operator and all unary operators associativity is having right to left unary operators conditional operators and assignment operators they are having the associativity right to left except those every operator associativity is left to right let us take an example so that we can understand that how the conditional operator is working let us assume here i am having a variable int x and a is equal to 10 the value of a is 10 and the x is not initialized then i am writing here x is equal to size of a plus plus asking sign that means conditional operator print f here i am having learning c is fun here i am having this statement learning c is fun colon 0 now in this entire expression in this entire expression who is expression 1 this particular portion in the entire expression 
this particular portion is known as expression one. This is the asking sign. Now from here to here, up to this, up to this, this is known as what guys? This is known as expression two. Then we are having colon. We are having colon. Then we are having what? This portion, which is none other than expression three, right? Now here conditional operator is there. Assignment operator is there. Who is having high precedence? Conditional operator is having high precedence. So before this assignment part works, first the part that will be working is the conditional operator part because they are having the high precedence. What about size of? Size of is a compilation time operator. So it will work at the time of compilation. Next, I'm having printf x is equal to percentile d x and I'm also printing the value of a here. Let me write in this way value of x is equal to this slash n and printf value of a is equal to percentile d and then a. This is my coding, right? What will be the output in this case? See guys, already we have learned about the size of operator. It is a compile time operator. When it will work? At the stage of compilation. At the stage of compilation means when my source program will be converted to the machine language. That is from high level language to machine level language conversion. At that time, size of operator will work. So what it will do, it will consider this line and at the stage of compilation, at this stage of compilation, this particular portion, this particular portion will be replaced by something. It will be replaced by something. What it will be replaced by? It will be replaced by size of A. A is what type guys? A is a integer type. So integer type means it will be having a value for. So at the compilation time, this particular expression one got the value as four. Sir, A plus plus, A plus plus will never get the chance of evaluation. A plus plus will never get the chance of evaluation. Okay, four. Is four is a true value? Yes, four is a true value. So which part will be executed as per our discussion? Already we said that if expression one is true, expression gives us true, then expression two is the final result. So that means here. The final result is what expression two, and what is that? Printf learning C is fun. Automatically, what will happen? This particular thing will be printed. This particular thing will be printed in the console. So that means in my output, we are going to get that learning C is fun. But already we know that printf itself is a function. Printf itself is a function, and it returns what in the last session we have learned, guys. Printf function returns what? Integer value. So here, after printing this, what value will be returned here? Printing part is done. Now, what value will be returned here? Sir, so the value that will be returned here is one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen characters are there. So that means what value will be returned here? The value that will be returned here is seventeen. The value that is returned here is 17. Now, what will be assigned to this x? So, the value that will be assigned to this x is none other than this value because this is the final value of the expression now, which is 17. So, what will be printed here? What will be the value of x? The x value will be 17. And what about what about the value of a? Sir, a never got the chance of increment. A never got the chance of increment because this fellow should work at a runtime. Where due to the size of operator, the entire expression has evaluated at the compilation time, where size of gives the size of the operand here, which is none other than a. So ultimately, what we are going to get? Learning C is one is come is going to come in the output. After that, x value is going to print. That means they are going to print value of x is equal to 17. New line is there, and then they are going to print value of a is equal to 10 also. So final output is learning C is one. Value of x is 17 and value of a is 10. Let us verify these ones. A 
execute compile and run see here learning c is fun value of x is 17 and value of a is equal to 10. now let me do one thing here i want to make a new line here say here i'm having a new line so what is going to happen execute compile and run value of x is 17 uh, value of x is 17 learning c is fun right that is the first line and then lastly value of a is 10 so this is about the conditional operator so more on of the story is what in case of the conditional operator it is a ternary operator why conditional operator is a ternary operator you remember somewhere i discussed about unary operator binary operator now unary operator means the operator which works is sir is constant variable executes at compile time constant variable executes at compile time that is not the correct word rakesh the correct word is if it is a constant value if the if the variable is constant the value is never going to be updated no question of evaluating no question of evaluating it the fact is that at runtime if you try to change that value you will not be able to do that that is the factor if it is a constant value at a runtime, the value is if the if the variable is a constant variable, at a runtime, the variable's value is not going to be updated. So it will be fixed throughout the program. Once you are setting it, once you are setting it throughout the program, even at compilation time or even at runtime, throughout the program, the value of the variable is going to be fixed. We are not able to allow to make the changes. Normally at compilation time, what is the role of the compiler? The role of the compiler is to read the source code. Whatever code you are providing, reading the source code. Activity number one. Activity number two, after reading the source code, its job is to convert that high level language or middle level language to the equivalent machine level language conversion. To the machine level language conversion. And that too also happens. This conversion of high level language to machine level language happens only if compiler finds that there is no syntactical error is there then at the if there is no syntactical error is there then only it will convert the high level language to the machine level language next at that time of conversion entire program got checked no syntactical error nothing is there at the time of conversion if any operator is there size of operator that size of operator will be evaluated at that time if you are taking a constant variable, what will happen throughout the program at the time of compilation or even at the time of execution throughout the program, you will be not be allowed to change the value of the variable. First of all, no question of changing the value of the variable at compilation time. Only thing that we can do is that value of the variable can be changed at runtime. And if you are making the variable as constant variable, then at runtime, the value of the variable cannot be changed. Understanding <clears throat> Rakesh. Yeah. Let us move to the next one, sir. Let me record the output also. Next week, once your registration is done, I will share all the documents, right? Whatever we have done till now, all the questions, discussion, everything. I will share with you in our next next week. Okay. Now let us take another example of this conditional operator. See these guys. Suppose I'm having a variable int a. Here I'm writing a is equal to 50 greater than 80. So this becomes my expression number one. And here I'm having a value like 10 colon here i'm having one not is equal to two less than five 
asking sign then we are having 20 colon 30 this is my value that will be 5 and 8 respectively and finally i am printing that print f value of a value of a percentile d a this is the code we are having now it is such a big expression and the beauty of the expression is you will able to find so many operators are present here see guys why i said that associativity and precedence is very very important now see such an expression where almost most of the operators are present how to evaluate this one observe carefully here assignment operator is there let me list it out which operators are there assignment operator is there greater than operator is there conditional operator is there next not is equal to operator is there that's it these many operators are there and even less than operator is also there okay then how to arrange it sir first of all as for the precedence and associativity is concerned assignment operator is having list level precedence assignment operator is having list at the very bottom last level is comma before that assignment operator is there now here greater than is there less than is there greater than less than are having same level of precedence they are having the same level of precedence then we have to go for associativity which is from l to r left to right not equal to operator yet another relational operator six relational operators are there now guys another relational operator but compared to greater than and less than not equal to is being not be not equal to is present in the next level compared to greater than less than and not equal to is present in the next level in the same level we are having greater than greater equal to less than less than equal to. but equal to equal to and not equal to is in the next level among the relational operator next after that we are having the conditional operator after that we are having the conditional operator now if i try to set the expression properly if we try to set the expression properly then you observe here here how many conditional operators are present two conditional operators are present no? two conditional operator is present means what who will come into the picture associativity will come into the picture associativity means what in the absence of bracket how the expression will be bracketized in the absence of bracket how the expression will be bracketized now associativity of conditional operator is from right to left so that means once you start bracketization once you start bracketization the bracketization will start from right to left so which part will be bracketized first first you observe that this colon is basically associated with this asking sign this colon is basically associated with this asking sign and this colon is associated with this asking sign now with respect to this particular colon with respect to this particular colon what is the expression one this is the expression one this part is the expression one this is the expression one this is expression two this is expression three what does it mean i can consider this is one part this is one part here okay now with respect to this asking sign this is expression 1 and this entire part is expression 2 or we can say that if this is expression 1 this is expression 2 and then this part is entirely is expression 3 so how can we bracketized we can bracketized in this fashion we can bracketized in this fashion this is how the expression will be bracketized this is how the expression will be bracketized in the absence of brackets now have you observed one thing i didn't start bracketization from here i didn't start bracketization from here i started bracketization from here why because associativity is right to left and hence the bracketization will take place from right to left but evaluation evaluation will always start from left to right evaluation will start from left to right now we will start evaluation of the expression is the five value is greater than eight? One minute, guys. Is the five is greater than eight? This is expression number one. The answer to this is false. We know that if expression one gives us true value, expression two is the answer. Otherwise, expression three is the answer. 
So currently, where we will come? We will come to evaluation of expression three. Now, in the expression three, again we are having a conditional operator. In the expression three, again we are having a conditional operator where this particular part is the expression one. This particular part is the expression one. This is expression two. This is expression three. Now, while evaluating this expression one, while evaluating this expression one, observe carefully, guys. Not equal to is there, less than is there. Who is having high precedence? Less than is having high precedence. Who is having high precedence? Less than is having high precedence. Then two less than five. What is the answer? Two less than five. Less than operator. Relational operator. Whenever it works, we know that. What it does, sir? It gives us the value as true or false. Yes, one or zero. Now what will happen? This particular part after evaluation, give me what value? One. Now you see. One not is equal to one. One not is equal to one. One not is equal to one. Is it true or it is false, sir? One is equal to one. One is equal to one. So that means what? This part is basically false. It is not true. Once this is false, conditional operator is here. So which value will be executed, sir? Thirty. So that means from here, from here, what value I will get as an answer? Thirty. We will get as an answer. And already we said that five greater than eight. No, which part will come into the picture? This part. So what is this value? Thirty. So what value will be given to a? The value that will be given to a is the value that will be given to a is thirty. The value that will be given to a is thirty. Now have a look here. Execute, compile, and run. The value of a is thirty. Now today, at the beginning, we took one conclusion. What is the conclusion? The associativity of conditional operator is right to left, and this is the perfect example. This is the perfect example to understand that yes, associativity of the conditional operator is right to left. Everyone understand this, guys? All of you understood how this example is evaluating the value as thirty. ha huh. associativity is from right to left sir then why we start from 5 greater than 8 that is called evaluation associativity means in the absence of bracket how you will set the bracket in the absence of bracket how you will set the bracket now suppose for example whenever you say that say 10 into or 5 into 4 by 2 Suppose you are telling five into four by two. What is the answer? Everyone will say the answer as ten. Everyone will say the answer as ten. Now you see here. Suppose you are telling sir five into four twenty. Twenty by two is ten. Another fellow is telling five into four by two. Four by two is two, and that's why the answer is ten. Anyhow, you come the answer is ten. But which one is technically correct and which one is technically wrong? If I compare this, if I See this associative. If I see the precedence and associativity table, we will find that multiplication and division are having same level of precedence. Multiplication and division are having same level of precedence. Then who will come into the picture? Associativity will come into the picture. Once associativity will come into the picture, associativity means in the absence of bracket, how the expression will be bracketized. How the expression will be bracketized? Now you said left to right, na? So first, which part will be bracketized? This part, five into four, five into four. This part got bracketized. Now divided by two. Let us assume it is x by two. Let us assume this is x by two. Now you bracketize this part. You bracketize this part, and now you put the value of x. Then how it will be looking like? Five into four, five into four. By two. Now this is what is as per the associativity when it is from left to right. Now the evaluation will start when we will go for evaluation. What we will do? We will start from left to right. That means five into four first. That becomes twenty, and then by two that becomes ten. So among this option, which one is correct? This is correct. This one incorrect approach. In this example, it is giving me correct value. If you think in that direction. But for other example, but for other example, but for other other example, definitely we are going to get the 
wrong answer. Now, suppose for example, you are writing something like that, 5 plus 2 into 3. Here, no question of associativity. Here, only thing is precedence. As per the precedence, as per the precedence, who is having high precedence? Multiplication is having high precedence compared to plus. Does it mean that you will evaluate directly from here? You will directly start from here? No, sir. I will start from left. I will start from left. 5 plus. Plus is having a working principle. Every operator is have some working principle. What is the working principle of plus? Plus always tell that I want, I want this side value. Otherwise, I will not work. I want this side value. Otherwise, I will not work. So you started from here, but you halt it here. You halt at this point. Why? I need here a value, sir. I need here a value. I need here a value. To get the value here, what you are doing? 3 into 2, 6. Now you are giving the value here as 6. Now you are giving a value here 6. And now you are concluding the factor as 11. Does it mean that multiplication is having high precedence? Does it mean that, sir, directly I'm starting from here? Can you start the evaluation from here? Evaluation will always start from left to right. Now, as per the precedence and associativity, if the operators are having high precedence, that part will be evaluated. If the operator is having the you know same precedence as per the associativity, it will be evaluated. So, evaluation for evaluation purpose, I will always start reading from left to right. But associativity point of view, depending on the associativity of a particular operator, how the expression will be bracketized. That will follow the rule of left to right or the rule of right to left. But evaluation, but evaluation will always start from left to right. Let's go for another example. Suppose you are having int x, y, z, and z is equal to 5. Let us assume. Now you are, you are writing here x is equal to y is equal to z. And here you are printing the value of x, percentile d x. Now you see here. In this line, we are having two assignment operator. Once two assignment operator is come into the picture, you cannot go for precedence. How you will compare the precedence? Because both are same operator. No? Both are same operator. How you go for the precedence? No, sorry. What we have to check? Associativity. Associativity of assignment operator is also from right to left. Associativity of assignment operator is also from right to left. That means what? In the absence of bracket, how the expression will be bracketized. So here, how the expression will be bracketized? First, this part will be bracketized. Y is equal to is equal to Z. Sorry, Y is equal to Z. This part will be bracketized. Now, which part will be bracketized? X is equal to. This part will be bracketized. Now, whether you keep it in the bracket or doesn't keep, whether you keep it in the bracket or not keep into the bracket, that's a different story. But this is how internally it will be bracketized. Now, this part will be bracketized. This part will be bracketized. But evaluation will start from where? Left. What it will do? X is equal to. Stopping here. Y. Sir, I need a value here. I need a value here. What will happen? Z is y is equal to z. Assignment operator. Na? That means what? The z value will be given to y. What is the z value? 5. That will be given to y. That means y value is what? 5. So what value I'm getting here? 5. Now what will happen? The 5 value will be given to x. And finally, x value will become the answer. So that means evaluation. Evaluation purpose always will start from left. But associativity point of view. In the absence of the bracket, how the expression will be bracketized, that will be either following the rule of left to right or following the rule of right to left. Chetan, clear now? Yes. So what is the answer for this one? The value of A is 30. Let us go for another one. So two example we have seen. One example we understood the behavior of the conditional operator. That is expression one. If it is true, expression two is the final result. Otherwise, expression three is the final result. Now, another example we have seen where we found that the associativity of conditional operator is right to left. Let me take another example. Okay, A is equal to bring your pen and paper, guys. 2 greater than 5, not is equal to 1, asking sign, 5, less than 8, and, and, 8 greater than 2, asking sign, 
15 asking sign 10 colon 20 colon 30 colon 40 this is the expression i want to know what will be the value of a at the end actually no space is there for understanding purpose you can do that you can give these spaces now evaluate this one and tell me the final answer for your understanding purpose let me write by giving some space how the expression will be bracketized if you can make it bracketized perfectly you will able to give the answer First, check it out syntactically is this statement is okay or not because three conditional three conditional operator is there means three asking sign and three colon check it out how many colons you are having one two three and three asking sign one two three so that means there is no question of syntactical error okay suppose by mistake by mistake you write here a 50 then there is no point of continuing with this sir unnecessarily trying is basically meaningless because this is syntactical error how can we four colon is there where four ask, where three asking sign is there so you have to be very careful for that so i'm removing this one and i'm leaving this one i'm leaving with this one what will happen here let us verify it first this asking sign is associated with whom with this colon. So that means I can make a bracketization, bracketization of this part. Just this part, I can make a bracketized. Okay, now this part is bracketized. Okay, and in this, in this part, you see perfectly it is following. Expression one, expression two, expression three, done. Now I will take this one, this colon. For this, this is expression one, this is expression two and this is expression three guys. So what will happen? This particular fellow, this particular fellow, I'm bracketization, making a bracketized now. Yes, this is done. Now who is there? Another asking sign is there. Another asking sign is there. So for this asking sign, this is the expression one. This is the expression one. This is the expression two. This is the expression two. How far, how far, how far? This is the expression two. This is the expression two, right? And this is the expression three. This is the expression three. That means what I can do, I can put it in this way, right? Now I will start evaluation of this part here. This is the expression one. In this expression one, what we are having two greater than five not is equal to one. Who is having high precedence here? Greater than having high precedence, greater than having high precedence than not is equal to six relational operator is there. I already told you greater than greater equal to greater than greater equal to less than less or equal to and equal to equal to not equal to among the six these four fellows are having high precedence compared to these two fellows these two fellows these four fellows having high precedence compared to these two fellows okay now what will happen two greater than five two greater than five is what false zero zero not is equal to one yes it is true zero is really not is equal to one what will happen sir this entire part is what this entire part is what expression two this entire part is what expression two and this part is what expression three. So expression three is out of the context. Expression is out of the context. I will focus on expression two. Why? 
because zero not is equal to one. So now I will work on with this fellow. I will work with this particular expression. Now you see here, this is what with what I will work. So this is five greater than eight. Five greater than eight means what value guys? One, true value. Logical end end is there. Will you go to the other half? Yes, I will go to the other half. You came to this half. You came to this half here. Eight less than two is sorry. Eight greater than two is eight is greater than two. Yes, one is the answer. If one is the answer, this is expression two. He will come into the picture. Expression three got out of the context. Expression three got out of the context. Eight greater than two is true. So this part will come into the picture. What is this part, sir? Fifteen. Asking sign ten colon twenty. This part will come into the picture. In this part, in this part, what is the value? Fifteen. Is fifteen is a true value? Is fifteen is a true value? Yes, fifteen is a true value. If fifteen is a true value, if fifteen is a true value, what should happen? Which value should come into the picture? Ten should come into the picture, na? Ten should come into the picture. If fifteen is true value, ten should come into the picture. Now, if ten is coming here. So just from this part, what value I am going to get? Ten. So now what will happen here? One and and ten. So both are basically true value. Both are basically true value. If both are basically true value, what should happen is that the final result should come as a true value. The final result should come as a true value. Remember always precedence and associativity. This is the part you have to remember carefully. Here two greater than five. Two greater than five, according to the precedence, greater than is having high precedence. So two greater than five will be evaluated first, and two greater than five is a false condition. Two greater than five is a false condition. So that's why the expression now becomes zero not is equal to one. Zero not is equal to one. Zero not is equal to one is a true value. Zero is not equal to one. So that means this is a true value. So as a part of the true value. Expression two will be evaluated. Expression two will be evaluated. What is that expression two, sir? Expression two is the entire part. What is that entire part, sir? The expression two is this entire part, na? This is the entire part. This is the expression two. This part will come into the picture. This part will come into the picture as a part of the expression two. Now here, acha one minute. Another thing is that I should consider that. Uh, logical and logical and okay. This is this is perfect. This is this conditional operator story is perfect. But before that, logical and operator is here, na? Just observe here. This part I should bring into the picture. Uh, as per the precedence and associativity is concerned, logical and is having high precedence than conditional operator. Logical and is having the high precedence than conditional operator. And what about the relational operator versus logical and who is having high precedence? Relational operator is having high precedence, or logical and is having the high precedence? Who is having high precedence, guys? Relational operator is having high precedence. That means greater than, greater than, less than. They are having high precedence compared to that of logical and. So here, one thing we should consider before start evaluating those, uh, you know, conditional operator. That's five less than eight. Five less than eight. What about this five less than eight? It is a true value. It is a true value. And eight greater than two. What is this? Eight greater than two is also true value. Now here, if you see eight and and eight, eight and and eight. If you consider this part, if you consider this part, eight and and eight, two true values. Eight is a true value, and eight is a true value. But the thing is that whether we are going to consider that eight and eight or not. Whether we are going to consider that eight or eight or not, that is what you have to decide, right? So here I am mentioning about three level of operators: conditional operators, and and operators, greater than operators. I told you here how to how to bracketize the expression with respect to conditional operator. But no, here not only conditional operator is present, not only conditional operator is present. Here we are having the present of and and operator. As well as relational operator, that too I need to bring into the picture. That too I bring into the picture. Now, if you think just give the priority to the conditional operator, then as per our discussion, what is the result we are getting here? One, one, and and ten. One and and ten means what? It's a true value, and we thought that one should come into the picture, but one will never come into the picture. 
final result will never become one. Why the final result will never become one? The thing is that in this evaluation order, in this evaluation order, only thing that we bring into the picture is the story of conditional operator. The remaining operator story are not considered. Remaining operators are story are not considered. Whereas greater than and greater than and logical and both of them are having high precedence. Both of them are having high precedence compared to the conditional operator. That is why you cannot prioritize only the conditional operator. Let me show you the output is surely is not going to be coming. Check it out guys. The output is not going to come as per as per the thing here. What we did, we just only prioritize the conditional operator and as per that one should come, but it will not only prioritize the, you know, conditional operator. See here, the output is never going to come as one. See here, the output is coming here as value of A is 10. One is not going to come because the thing that we have done here is we are only making the priority. We're only giving the priority to the operator. That is the conditional operator. No, sir. And and logical and 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 greater than both of them. You have to make the priority. They also should be bring into the picture, not only the conditional operator. So just I'm giving you this as a homework. When we'll come to the next session, you have to tell me, right? How can this result already? I told you why one should not be come into the picture you have to identify why the answer should come as 10, where we have to give the priority as per the precedence and associativity so that we can bring the answer as 10. As per this discussion, we thought that one will come, but no, never one will be come because one should not come because the answer is the, because the reason is that I have to bring these fellows into the picture. What you have to do, I already told you, what is the precedence and associativity. Now, as per that, you have to arrange the statement and you people have to provide me the clarity. Sir, how can 10 be the answer, right? If you are unable to do that, then definitely I will explore in the next session. I will tell you how this 10 is going to come. But before that, I want, because all the discussion from my side is done, all the fallacies also I discussed. If I only prioritize the conditional operator, where is the fallacy? This is the fallacy. So everything I discussed, now you have to arrange the statement as per the precedent associativity and also have shown you the answer also. Somehow to prove that one is not the answer, you people got the answer also. Now what you have to decide is that you have to find how the answer is coming as 10. So that clarity you people have to provide. If you are unable to tell me how the answer is coming to 10, then I will give you the clarity. Understanding guys, any doubt students? <clears throat> Do you have any doubt guys? Yeah, some students already started giving the answer, but okay, as because all other students have not given the answer. So I will take it from everyone. Yeah, Chetan, you are correct. Your, your answer is correct. I have verified that. I can see your answer. Your answer is correct. But for other students also, for other students also, how the answer is going to come, you people have to tell me. And other than that, do you have any doubt, guys? where to give the bracket so that the answer can come as 10. And that's not arbitrarily that following the precedence and associativity order. By following the precedence and associative or associativity order, where I should put the brackets. Sir. That is what you have to tell. Tell me students up to this anywhere, any issue. Yeah, let us move further. So take a picture of this. This is the clarity that I that I'm expecting from you people. Okay. Yeah. Next and after that, another operator is there which we need to discuss. That is called bitwise operator. So under bitwise operator, yesterday also I mentioned that we are having bitwise and bitwise or bitwise or followed by left shift and right shift. So whatever times are left today. So today I'm not going to discuss too much about the bitwise operator. Rather, we will start from tomorrow. Tomorrow I will discuss about the bitwise operator because there is a big discussion is there because positive number left shifting, negative number left shifting, everything I will show. So that discussion I will make tomorrow. 
but today let me go for another example how you can react to this one i want to see okay i copy this in k is equal to 1 c bring your pen and paper guys a b c d i want to know the values of a b c d everything you have to tell me the answer yes correct your answer is correct who is that chetan perfect very good man see here students c is equal to assignment operator logical or operator pre decrement operator what will happen very simple here it is one already we have discussed about the logical or operator if the first operand is one should i go to the next half no so that means this part will not be evaluated this part will not be evaluated and entire result of this part will become what a value is 1 once it is a 1 i will not go to the other half so the entire part is evaluated to what 1 and that 1 is given to c so the value of c becoming 1 that is the only conclusion we can make it from here now when we come to this line again d is equal to later concentrate on the a value what is the a value currently 1 what is the a value 1 post decrement it is post decrement so first i will take the decision whether i should go to the other half or not yes logical and is there and a value is one should i go to the other half yes i should go to the other half but before going to other half internally internally the value of a will become zero internally the value of a will become zero but decision is taken on the value of a's original value that is one should i go to the other half yes i should go to the other half but internally a value will become what zero internally a value will become zero now once i coming to the other half now this is pre decrement that means b will be decremented b value is what 1 1 will be decremented means it will become zero it will become zero so what value i am getting here zero logical and either of the side of the logical and if i get a zero enter result will be what enter result will be what zero so the value of b will become what zero then what is the answer 0010 0. let us verify it once execute compile and run 0010 okay na let me give one more example to you that is also you have to do only it's a big one okay of sub
in day here a is equal to 2 greater than 5 asking sign 1 not is equal to 2 greater than 5 asking sign 10 colon 20 colon 5 less than 8 asking sign 2 not is equal to 2 greater than 5 asking sign not is equal to 5 asking sign 30 colon not 1 logical not of 1 okay not is equal to 1 okay asking sign 40 colon 50 colon 60 colon 70 right print f the value of a is percent ld this is also you have to evaluate of course i will do it for you i will do it here only i will give the clarity also how it will be evaluated but before that i want you should go for a try this one and this one then tomorrow i will discuss both of this these two is your homework guys this one and this one Yes, take a picture of this. First one answer you know somehow that is 10, but how the 10 is coming that you have to give the answer. And for this one, Acha, come in the chat box, na? one minute. Let me copy this to the chat box. Check it out, you received this or not? Receive na? Yeah. No, no, no. One minute, one minute. So let me do one by one. Okay, this is the first one, right? This is the second one. Now you received now both the example you people received. And now see what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting that you will run the code and tell me the output. I'm not expecting that. I am expecting how you will arrange the expression by the knowledge of precedence and associativity. That is what I'm expecting. Because if you run this code in, in, in any compiler, it will show you the output. I'm not, I'm least interested about the output. I want to know whether you are capable of arranging the statement properly or not. I have shown you one example here, how to arrange it properly. I've shown here one example here that is while arranging, I cannot give priority only to the conditional operator. Remaining operator, if like operators like logical and is there, those operators also I should bring into the picture. So that is I just by giving a priority to one operator, I may get a wrong answer, right? So that's why you have to arrange this one properly as well as you have to arrange this one properly as for the precedence and associated. Then only I will give you the clarity how it is working. Okay, so in our next session, we are going to learn about the Bitwise operator. Other than that, I think almost everything is done, right? Special operator, two operators are pending. Conditional operator also we discussed today. Tomorrow also you will spend some time after seeing how you are reacting to this answer. And then tomorrow we are going to learn about the bitwise operator. Thank you guys. Any doubt students? Any doubt? Okay. Thank you, guys.